Ah, greetings horror fans, it's that time of year again. It is Halloween. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, just messing. Um, seeing as I'm an avid horror fan, I thought I'd do a nice long video about Halloween and what I've done. Basically, I'm stone broke this year, so I can't go out for costume parties, so... Here's what I'm going to do. Talk about a series of movies that I've watched the past while, and talk about them briefly. And, uh... To say in the comments below what she did for Halloween. Right, I'll start off um, with the first movie I saw at Horaton this year. Horaton is uh, here in Dublin. There's the flyer here. Yeah, the film I saw at this was uh, Island of Death. Um, one of the video nasties. But, uh, it's really more of an exploitation film than a horror film, but it's worth a watch and got to see it fully on court. Um, showed like scenes of goat rape and really fucking really bad acting that so bad it's funny you know that sort of way <laughs> and uh, yeah the violence is really you know fake looking like you know the like a uh, food coloring mixed with uh, flour and water or some shit you know really DIY but it's worth watching for fucking laughs also the director uh, Nico Maristoff uh, Pardon me if I didn't pronounce that right. Uh, he gave a little pep talk afterwards and got to talk to him outside. He was a pretty nice guy. Um, not very proud of what he created. He's saying it is a sick film. Uh, basically, around 1975, he wanted to. There's a big war going around to see what is the most sick, what is the sickest film. <laughs> Some shit like that. Um, yeah, it was a stranger. I wish I was around for that. With all the censorship. But hell, I'm not going to go into video nasty and censorship. I'll do that in another video at some stage. Yeah. Next now, I'll talk about the movies I've watched tonight. Alright, tonight, um, first one I watched, and I'm surprised I haven't watched this, Return of the Living Dead. Okay, for some of you now who may get confused, this, is, this has nothing to do with the George Romero films like Dawn of the Dead and Night nice of the Living Dead. Completely different film. Okay, and the zombies in this are fucking awesome. I must tell ya, okay? Basically, they're like the cliche zombies you'd see in, like, um, you know, the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror and all that. You know, they go for brains. And, uh, you, you also can't kill them. All their limbs will live independently if they come off, and, um, like, even as skeletons and, hell, you can even see in the lab, um, dead butterflies are still alive when they're attached to it, and, uh, the, uh, half a dog for medical things are still alive. It's pretty fucking funny, and it's fucking worth watching. Yeah, I won't give too much away about it, but I'll tell you one thing, I highly recommend it. The second one I watched, and this is where curiosity got the better of me, I decided to watch the Nightmare on Elm Street remake. And oh god, it was terrible. Um, really, you, I do not recommend that at all. If you love the Nightmare on Elm Street films as much as I do, save yourself the torture. I might do a horror horse this suck episode about it uh, tomorrow. And uh, yeah, then to round it off, um, I watched Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, and that is just absolute brilliance. In fact, those of you who are fans of Rob Zombie, House of a Thousand Corpses, I can clearly see where he got his inspiration. Okay, this one is not like the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and it's not just a shitty Hollywood sequel. It's a completely different film, and it's just insane. Not to mention Bill Mosley, one of my all-time... I definitely consider him one of my favourite of the obscure, um, or cult horror villains. He plays Chop Top, this kind of hippie guy with a metal plate on there and uh... <laughs> oh, oh sorry about that um, yeah he's always there like uh, picking at it and eating the skin and uh... yeah Dennis Hopper as well isn't it? He is fucking excellent he plays this crazy uh, cowboy that's out to kill the family and it ends with a epic chainsaw battle between himself and Leatherface which is fucking brilliant it's all out gory, you can see like half a guy's head get chopped off and blood squirting out. Yeah, I highly recommend that one as well, okay? So, yeah, 
what the hell's to say, but uh, happy Halloween, and I hope you all enjoy it. Sao him.